Hi friends, I hope you are doing well. Today I want to show you a thing which I used to, to do in the past when I was starting my career um, as account assistant in one job. The horrible part of the job was to gather all the invoices from different suppliers and to put them, let's say, save them in a folder or in different folders and to add them in Excel. I found a solution. I have it here for you. If you have a similar situation, please follow this tutorial. So what we will do, we will go on the email, we will put, let's say, the inbox folder and we say, when you receive an email with this condition, let's say, when you receive an email with this name or with this word, save that in, in the folder, in OneDrive. Let's see how we can do that. Okay, so friends, let's start doing this. Um, first, we go in Power Automate. We go to templates. We have them here. Okay, and we search for um, Outlook because we want to use um, email to automate. Okay, here we should have um, we go we, we get we, we get this um, template. So we click on that. Obviously, you have to make the connection here. Um, I already have the connections. Perfect. And now we will add an extra step on this flow. Why? Because we want to put a condition. We don't want to get all the emails. We don't want to get um, everything. We want to create something more customized. Okay. So obviously, we say here on new email um, from the inbox. Perfect. Then we add an action. And that will be um, the condition. And we say here, um, choose a value. I'll choose body because I want to track whatever it's in the body of the email. Okay. And I don't want to say uh, it's equal. I'll say contains and I'll put invoice. What you can put here, let's say if you want to put here companies, the name of the company. Um, to um, to search the name of the company on the email or maybe the, the people they will put at the end of the signature the name of the, the company and this will get from there the name of the company and will save in a specified folder for that company. You can do whatever you want. I'll show you a simple um, process now how you can do. So just if the email uh, body contains invoice, save that in the folder. That's what I'm I'm putting here. The condition is to save if the um, um, body contains invoice. Okay, if yes, what we want to do if the body contains invoice. Obviously, we want to um, save this in OneDrive. OneDrive, okay. We have the connector here, create file, that's the, the one. I have a folder there already created um, it's just a dummy folder, which is this one. Okay. File name, we get attachment um, and that will be name. Here we go. And we have here create file. And obviously here will be attachment uh, con um, content. Sorry, I should get that from there and click this button here. This one, perfect. We delete this part. We don't need this condition because we already added in there. So I'll delete that. Actually, let's check to see how they did it here. Yeah, attachment, create file attachment. Content. Yeah, perfect, the same thing. Okay. We close this. And um, if no, we don't want to put any condition. If no, leave it like that, we'll be fine. Okay, let's give a try. Okay, friends, so I'm sending now the email. 
between my emails just to, to do the test and I'll just save um, this Excel file don't know what's that and I'll say here um, electrical company let's say this is company this is an electric company and I'll say hi this is the invoice as requested thank you okay let me show you that this is the one drive I have two files there one Excel which is named book and one Power BI let's have a look now we see that the flow is running we got the email your flow ran successfully after we got the email and let's refresh this um, OneDrive to see if the file is saved in OneDrive here we go the file is saved in OneDrive so friends if you like my videos and if you like what you see please give me a like or subscribe thank you and nice day